Welcome back to this special edition of Hannity. Now here's a remember, here's a number I want you to remember. 61,312. That's the number of illegal immigrants the Biden administration has released into the country in just the first three full months of its control of America, February, March, and April. Compare that to the last three full months of President's, President Trump's term, October, November, and December. The number of migrants released then was 47. Yes, we went from the size of a ping pong tournament at your local YMCA to Hard Rock Stadium where the Miami Dolphins play on Sunday, and it's only four months into the administration. So catch and release is back in a very big way under President Biden and Kamala Harris. And what else is the administration doing? Well, they're planning to increase capacity to accommodate more of the migrants that they do choose to keep detained. Meanwhile, the so-called border czar, Kamala Harris, has literally had nothing to say about the issue since being put in charge just about two months ago and having never visited the border since she's been the vice president. But her old friend and home state governor, Gavin Newsom, isn't staying silent. In fact, he's had some ideas on how to spend his state's unexpected budget surplus, more like giveaways to illegal immigrants, including $105 million for humanitarian relief, $50 million for English classes, and $14 million for legal aid, all for migrants and migrants only. And they wonder why people keep coming. Here with reaction, the former acting secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, and the current attorney general of Arizona, Mark Burnovich. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, I, I want to start with you. Uh, look, we, we got them streaming in by the tens of thousands. Uh, you take that trajectory over a long period of time, there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people. A lot of them are coming to Arizona. But my question is, when they catch and release somebody, what are those people in Arizona, or if they migrate up to Nevada or Arizona or Iowa or whatever, or Utah, what, where are they supposed to live? Where are they supposed to get an income? How are they supposed to provide for their families? Like, what are they supposed to do that is legal and lawful under our laws in the United States? Jason, it is absolutely heartbreaking and despicable what the Biden administration is doing. And we were talking about these numbers. You were just talking about numbers. Two million. Two million is the number of estimated people that will cross just this year across our southern border. That's like the state of Alaska, Wyoming, and Vermont combined in one year. We know the cartels are enriching themselves, every single person that crosses this border. We know as a result of recent discovery in our lawsuit, one of our lawsuits against uh, the Biden administration and its uh, immigration policies, is as a result of that, they're not picking up people that are being released from prison. So you have felons, you have arsonists, you have aggravated mm. assault, sexual predators that ICE is not picking up, they're not deporting, and as you just said, they're being released into our community. So this is not an Arizona problem, it's not a Texas, it's not a border problem. This will affect every person in the United States. You know, John F. Kennedy put a man on the moon, This uh, Biden is gonna end up putting a felon in everyone's neighborhood. That, to me, is how much, how far the Democratic Party has changed just in 40 years, it's shameful. Now, Chad, when I was in Congress, we held hearings because Obama, Biden, what they did is they released more than 60,000 people out into the homeland. These were people that were convicted of a crime here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And instead of deporting them, they just released them back out into to the homeland. So more than 60,000. But we're just talking about the first few months. And, and I have seen Kamala Harris absolutely nowhere on this issue. Well, absolutely, Jason. I think what the last four months of this administration has seen, the policies have failed the American people, have failed the law enforcement officers of the Department of Homeland Security, and most of all, have failed the migrants, because it's the Biden administration that's encouraging these individuals to take this very dangerous journey through Mexico at the hands of the cartels and the traffickers and the smugglers. Uh, and we know that there's a lot of dangerous things that go on during that journey. So. Across the board, the policies, the messaging from this administration has absolutely failed uh, the American people, the migrants, and others. And absolutely, it's absolutely crazy that the vice president, Vice President Harris, has not visited the border, has not talked 
to the law enforcement officers. Their job is to secure that border every day, to understand their challenges, to understand what they're going through, so that she can become an advocate for them and help them do their job and negotiate with the Northern Triangle in Mexico. Instead, she will not go to that border. Um, and I think that is a, a disservice, not only to the, the men and women of DHS, but really to the American people. Yeah, Mr. Attorney General, I got to tell you, the Democrats try to play the compassion card. Oh, we care more. These are real families, and they are real families. But it's not compassionate to encourage them to make this treacherous travel northbound. I mean, when I talk to Border Patrol agents, they're telling me that somewhere between 60 and 100 percent of the women that are coming north are being raped along the way. Yeah, Jason, look, I'm, I'm a first-generation American. I understand why people want to come to this country, but we're a nation of laws. The reason why so many people are fleeing, you know, communist countries and third-world countries is because the rule of law means something. We have a system of laws. And what the Biden administration is doing is, I believe, long-term-wise, is undermining immigration because what is going to end up happening is when you have felons released into the communities and, God forbid, these dangerous crimes occur, it's going to affect us. When you have the cartels making all this money and an increase in fentanyl and heroin coming across our border. That is going to poison our neighborhoods. People are going to die of overdoses. Don't forget what the Biden administration done. When the Biden administration is talking about sending $310 million to Central American countries to prop them up, that's our tax dollars. Um, when they talk about house, paying $87 million to, for contracts to house people that don't have legal status here, think about that. Next time, you got to write your check for your mortgage. And so this actually is creating, yeah. I think, a great division in our country. Not sure what the Biden administration is doing. But long term wise, I think it's going to tear this country apart. Chad, I've got 10 seconds left. Your last thoughts. Yeah. Well, I think what's concerning uh, that's going on at the border is, is, is bad enough. But uh, the fact that the Biden administration has also uh, handcuffed ICE from removing individuals uh, while they're yeah. here in the interior of the country. So the plan is to let them in, and then the plan is to restrict law enforcement's ability to remove them at the end of the day. It's true. Uh, it, it is absolutely disgusting. Gentlemen, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.